Hi guys, thank you for joining for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Um, today, I'm doing Dr. John's Tangerine Dream. Man, I love this stuff. Tangerine, mango, vanilla, beautiful, beautiful, creamy uh, tangerine scent. Um, and I have the matching splash to go with that. My scent of the day is going to be Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne. Um, love this stuff. Brush today, rinse it out a little bit, is going to be the Boar um, Samogue Owners Club. And it's a 24 inch, I think. A 24 millimeter. It's either 22 or a 24. I'm pretty sure it's a 24. Um, and then the weapon of the day will be my Gillette Old Type Open Comb with a feather blade in it. So I've had the soap puck soaking and I'm just going to take a little of this water and add it to my face. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday out there. We certainly are. It is 61 degrees Fahrenheit here, which is a beautiful change from the snow we got like a week ago. Oh, and I've already got it in my mouth. Hmm, kind of minty. I did forget to add that there's um, menthol in this uh, soap and splash as well. You know, it's not too bad a taste. We'll, we'll see if I get any more in there, but so far it's going to be fairly high on the tasteometer. This is unprecedented. Alright, so now let's get in here. It's a really nice vegan soap formula. Very easy to lather, very slick, really nice post shave feel. Builds a really nice lather. Very, very good stuff. If you haven't tried these guys out, I encourage you to do so. Got a lot of scents. Really, really nice splashes. Really enjoy them. I actually have um, Hydra. Um, a replacement on the way in now from Maggard Razors. Um, I thought that uh, previously when I ran out of Hydra, I thought I was going to be able to just replace it with uh, Tangerine Dream. Um, and I love Tangerine Dream, but man, I'm really missing the Hydra. Um, and I have a puck of Arctic Hydra that uh, is soon to be used on my face. So I think... Um, I think I was really missing it. So I've got some on the way, should be here, I think Monday or Tuesday. Sorry, I forget to, forgot to get my Allen block, hang on. There, you get to see my door. I hope it was all you hoped for. Okay, soap is so slick, I can't get a grip on anything, so. I have to rub my fingers on the Allen block so I don't drop anything. All right, here we go. Hope everyone is well out there. We have done well in staying well. Um, hopefully that will continue. been on just a short vacation. I started vacation on Thursday um, and I go back to work on Monday but even just an extra couple days is enough to get a little recharge going. And today we're getting our first family portraits done be with my two children and my wife. I 
try and crowd me out so the picture looks better. <laughs> stuff is so nice you can see it's starting to shine it's a nice pillowy lather you get just a little more water in it using this open comb I want it to be super slick I like my lathers a little Omo higher end of hydration. Mm, it's beautiful. That menthol is starting to kick in. Oh, there's the soap funk. All right, it's not gonna be a five out of 10 today, but you know, I think I'm gonna give you guys a, uh, a four and a half. Good job, John and Kimberly. You got a really good taste in soap. <laughs> All right, and here, let's get going. Gillette Old Type, and I believe it's the second use of this feather blade. This razor is so awesome. I mean, 1920s, I mean, we're talking roughly 100 years ago. And still shaves like a dream. It's just so smooth. Beautiful first pass. So for these family portraits that we're getting done today, um, someone is doing them uh, basically pro bono in the uh, school district that my wife works in and my oldest son uh, goes to school in. And the payment in return for this is a roll of toilet paper, um, which at the end, after doing portraits for everyone, she's gonna donate that toilet paper. So I thought that was pretty neat. Throw a roll of toilet paper right now may be important than more important than actual money. Unless you're so rich you wipe your butt with money. And if so, please send me some.
think I lost a, a boar hair. It's been a great brush. I probably haven't lost five hairs on it since I got it. And I've had it for probably three years, I think. Good while. Do take a good little while to break in. But once they do, it's a great performing brush. Oh, got myself. Such a great soap. I don't know if this is currently available. Um, I think it was a limited edition scent that I'm going to assume will be back this summer if it's not available now. I think it kind of took the place of Arctic Hydra, um, which Thank goodness I got some of that before it was discontinued. The the regular Hydra without the menthol is still um, is still always available, but they were doing the Arctic Hydra as a, a summer limited edition release, um, and I believe that that has been replaced with this Tangerine Dream, which is awesome. But I still love the Arctic Hydra as well. I'm not a big menthol head. Um, Sterling Glacial Soaps. <laughs> I mean, they're intense. Um, but this is just right for me. Just enough to give you some cooling. Not enough that it's so cold it burns. If that makes sense. That glacial stuff from Sterling is intense. To me. I do love a feather blade. pairs extremely well in this razor too. Got my flower, or not my flower, my vegetable gardens cleaned out today and ready. Can't really plant here yet. Um, here in Maine, there's always a threat for a late freeze, so I have to wait a little while. But I did notice that some of my the leaves of my strawberries are starting to to come out. So hopefully, it won't be too much longer. Usually, plant sometime around. Um, late May to early June. So I'm excited to get that going again. Beds are all cleaned out and ready to go. Not sure what I'm going to plant this year. I've, uh, I've not done well with um, hot peppers or sweet peppers. Either one. I mean, I know it's Maine, which is not the best climate for those kind of vegetables. However, um, 
other people are doing it. So I'm obviously doing something wrong. All right, I mean, I never do anything wrong, so we'll say I just must not be doing something right. I think my wife begs to differ. That's fine. Who listens to her anyway? I'm always right. Remember that. Right, please leave the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Funny lady. But looks aren't everything. blade just glides right through that tough hair. All right. Got a few little spots down here. I haven't been shaving very much, so skin's not not as tough as it once was. So I guess I just better start shaving more. Awesome. Got it. All right, let's get cleaned up here. I feel like if I can't get an, a haircut here pretty soon, I'm going to end up with a man bun. That's not necessarily something I'm looking forward to. Woo, a little feedback today. Maybe go into a an open comb after a straight razor shave and not shaving for a while may not have been a super smart idea. However, the feedback is not bad. It's no big deal. Alright. Clean out Mr. Owner's Club. Did a great job today. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Add any comments, anything you'd like to say, anything you'd like me to answer, please leave it in the comments and I will be glad to do so. I will be glad to do so in song form. Sorry, for any of you that have seen Moana, it uh, plays here about 8,000 times a day, so I can probably quote it.
wants to get that hair off. Hopefully my neck doesn't bleed after I get this alcohol in there, but whatever. It's worth it. This stuff is great. It's so fresh and summery, citrusy, beautiful. Got some really good skin food type ingredients in it as well. Also has um, witch hazel. Let's see. We've got alcohol, witch hazel, rose water, um, the fragrance itself, uh, glycerin, aloe, alum, and menthol. And a healthy dose of fantastic. Get a little balm on, kind of soothe that neck. I really don't need balm after the Dr. John splash, but since I irritated myself on my neck, I might as well get as much moisture in there as I can. Plus, we're having those pictures made, so I gotta be beautiful. I know, it's probably gonna take more than that. What a rude comment, I can't believe you said that. I do love to talk to myself. I hope there's someone out here watching. And Atelier Cologne, Orange Sanguine. Decant, as always, from Fragrance Decant Boutique. Oh, that's summer right there. Man, that stuff is beautiful. And Atelier Cologne, um, they do, you know, a lot of citruses. However, unlike most citruses, um, you know, most citrus-based fragrances, this actually has a really good performance for me. It doesn't die out in two hours after those um, citrus, um, after the citrus burns out. Um, these actually have really good staying power to them. So if you've never used them before, um, you know, get like a, well, I mean, obviously you can get decants or you can go to Atelier Cologne's site um, and they've got like, um, like Explorer uh, series kind of things like, you know, uh, multiple of their scents that you can get, you know, just little samples of. So you try that out. Um, a great shave today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please stay safe and I'll catch you on the next one.